Hello everyone, my name is Rami Suhail and today we're gonna see how we're gonna change Office 365 branding design. Okay, so first I'm gonna go to my web browser here and as you can see this is the default branding design. I have this design and I have this logo. But what if I wanted to change it, right? So today we're gonna see how we're gonna do this. First of all, uh, let's check out how it's gonna look like at the end. I will enter my email here. As you can see, as soon as I complete the domain here, press tab, it changed, completely changed, the design and the logo. So now we're going to see exactly how we're going to do this. So I'm just going to log in with my account. Okay. Alright, so now I'm logged in with my account. This is the uh, admin page, right? So I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to go to Azure AD option at the top here. Press it. Okay, now it took me to the Azure portal where I'm going to uh, change this. So this is the sidebar, I'm going to scroll down here and go to... No thanks, I'm going to go to Active Directory, right? I'm going to press Active Directory. Here we have our Active Directory, I'm going to press on it. I'll have the settings here. I will just go to Configure, okay? So, Configure page, Directory Properties, Sign In and Access Panel, Page Appearance, Customize Brand. Okay, so pressing on Customize Branding, I have two options here. I have the option to edit my default branding or add new branding for a specific language, for example, for Arabic, English, or any other language. For this example, I'm going to stick with the default one and hit Next. Okay, then I have the option to edit the banner logo here. The size of the banner logo, first of all, this is the banner logo. Size should be... 280 width and 60 pixels height for example like this similar to this okay so also the size should be less than 10 kilobytes and it should be a png image with a transparent background hit browse here choose whatever image you have and hit, hit next okay then we have the square logo this is the square logo if i go to my apps just microsoft.com this is the Azure or EMS page. Okay, so we have the logo here. So, and this is the size for it 240 by 240. Also, same instructions here transparent PNG. And also, this is the if you are using a dark theme, you should upload another logo here for the square. If not, you should leave this empty. Okay, here is the user placeholder. What is this? As you can see, username at ttelecoms.com.sa. Here, when I haven't pressed any email account on any name, it will say something or username at ttelecoms.com.sa. So this is defined here. Whatever you want will be written here or reflected here. Okay, so here I have the title of my company. I'm going to write it here. And here I can write whatever statement I want. Some kind of welcome message, some kind of disclaimer for copyright or whatever, which will appear or will be reflected here. So you can write a couple of lines here and copy them there. Okay? So after writing this, you're going to hit next. And we have the sign in page illustration, which is this one, the large one. Okay? So here I have uh, the instructions. It can be any kind of image, a PNG image, a JPG, or a GIF image. Size should be similar to this one. Okay? For example, this is the width and this is the height. You should follow these instructions always because it's the best practices and recommended by Microsoft so the design can look responsive in different screen sizes. Okay? For example, I have this image. If I minimize it like this, see? looks good it still looks good so following these best practices will ensure the image looks good in every size okay so after pressing the image hit next choose it and so on then let's say for example the internet connection is a bit slow and you want before this image appears you want some kind of color to appear okay so here is the color it's a hexadecimal color 
which will be uh, appear, reappear here before the main image appears okay so for example if you have a slow internet connection this color will load before the main image here I have the option to hide the keep me signed in option for example I can uh, show it will be shown if I press hidden then this will disappear completely to all the users okay also here I have the option to write any kind of text which will be a hyperlink will redirect me completely to the site I want any kind of site I want okay so this concludes everything at the end I'm gonna press save here it's saving branding for the options just gonna take a minute boom now all the new options are uploaded and you're good to go I hope I was clear enough uh, thank you very much for listening and watching and have a nice day